are back at the fair and if you ask anybody what the Deschutes County Fair is all about, I bet you they will tell you about the kids and the animals and we have an actual family here with me, Zane, Tristan, and Sarah. And you guys all have your animals here. Can you introduce us to them? Um, this is my lamb named Nibbles. Nibbles. It's a very good name. What about you, Tristan? This is my market steer, Drago. And you, Sarah? And this is my market lamb, Bugsy. Bugsy. How long have you guys been 4-H? This is my second year. And are you a big brother who's been doing it for quite a while now? Six years. And uh, when did you start doing the bigger animals? Where did you used to do lamb like him? I did hogs and sheep for two years, and then I did He's giving you a little bit of trouble, huh? Yeah. It's okay. He's a little camera shy. What do you like about doing 4-H, Sarah? Well, I actually got into it when I was four years old doing Pee Wee 4-H. Um, I've always loved animals and I just think it's a great program for kids to be able to learn good life skills. Do your parents tell you guys all the time, gotta go out there even when you don't want to and you go feed them? No, because I'm solely responsible for my project. So yeah. if they get anything that gets wrong with them, I have to pay for it. So I try oh and gosh. keep on top of it so that nothing happens. Do Bugsy and Nibbles get to stay together? Yes. Yeah, they they're, stay in the same they're twins. Oh, they are. Um, how do you get them to look so nice? Um, shearing them and making sure they are clean. Yeah. Do you have to give them baths? Yes. Is it hard? Not really. You get wet. Yeah. Um, Tristan, tell me about having an actual, a large animal in forage. How much harder is it? It's quite, it's, it's not really harder, it's just uh, more time consuming. Yeah. How often, like, during the school year, do you guys have them as well? Yeah. I have them for 11 months. Oh, really? For the market stairs, and then I have breeding projects year round. Is it hard to go home after school and go take care of them? Not really. No big deal. Does your guys' whole family do stuff with the, the fair? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. How are your parents involved besides trucking you guys and your animals everywhere? Um, they're 4 H leaders. Oh, cool. So tell me about showing a sheep or a lamb. Well, showing a sheep do? is pretty physical compared to most species because you are actually um, pretty much an extension of that animal because you're down in front of them holding their head and making them brace, which they are pushing as hard as they can against your own body. Can you, can you show me anything that you would normally do with them or is it too hard to do oh. on cue? Oh, so do you have to make their legs move and everything too? Um, you teach them how to set up pretty square, which he's doing it right now. You want their back feet to become pretty much right off their hip uh -huh. in a straight line. Then you want your, their front feet to come straight. But in market lamb, since your leg is in front of their feet, front feet, it doesn't really matter what their front feet look like. A lot of people will say it does, but with some market lambs, they're pushing with the front feet as well and they don't look <laughs> that good, so it works. How much do you guys have to show them? Um, How many times in a fair? It, generally, you will show your market lamb twice and then in the auction ring. And to show them, you'll generally be in the ring in that position for at least 45 minutes. 45 minutes just like yeah. that? Yeah, and it, it hurts. Yeah, I bet. Does it hurt? Oh, I mean, some people just have a lot of stuff to say in this area, so that's fine. Uh, Tristan, tell me about just taking your family aspect into the fair. Is it really, I mean, do you have to go watch him and everything and do all of his stuff? Oh yeah, I go watch them when I can. So, like today we had a little bit of a conflict with the shows. But yeah. Yeah, we try to uh, watch and support each other. Does it make you proud to see your little brother out there? Oh yeah. Growing up and doing 4-H? What do you guys um, dislike about the fair? Is there anything that's just really hard and every year like, oh, I don't want to do that, but I have to? Um, barn duty. What's that? It's where you make sure all the waters are clean and you sweep the aisles. That sounds like tough work. How long does that take you? Usually the shifts are hour to hour and a half. Oh my gosh. You guys have to go do those tonight too? No, I've already done mine. You're done for the day. <laughs> what would you tell kids who are thinking about getting into 4-H about why they should? Uh, it's just a great experience and it's so wonderful. You don't have to do livestock. There's um, 
foods, there's clothing, there's horticulture, there's so many yeah. different options that aren't livestock based that you can do and still be a That's our cue. You guys have been great. Thank you guys so much for joining me and good luck with everything this year at the fair. All right, thank you. We'll be right back.